Welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my making adventures. Today I have just some knitting and crocheting to share with you. I have a box of, of things that have arrived in the mail. <laughs> so there's lots of yarn acquisitions, I guess, to share. And of course some works in progress, finished objects, all those things. So I hope that you all are doing well, that you've got maybe something to drink, something to work on. I did not even grab any coffee or anything before I came downstairs. <laughs> so we're going into this with only one cup of coffee today. I apologize if it's a little, little crazy. All right, so today is Thursday, January 25th. It is 8.37 a.m. Just for those of you that are wondering, <laughs> You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady, and I will have links right down below this video in the description box for everywhere that you can find me, um, as well as links to any project pages for anything that I show you, shops that I talk about, all the things. All the things will be linked down there for you. So, like I said, today I've got knitting and crochet, some finished objects, works in progress. I have some mail. We're just going to jump right in talk about all the things. So the first finished object I do not have here to show you. Wyatt may be wearing them today or they are up in his room. I'm not sure. But I finished another pair of socks for my youngest son Wyatt and I will put a picture of those up here. These were out of Opal Classics and the color is 9060. There's the tag. So for these um I just did vanilla socks on nine inch circulars and I did the size medium for him. Knit two pearl two rib for the cuff for like 20 rounds, I think, 50 round leg. <laughs> I started those on January 8th and I finished them on January 18th. And that was pair number six for the year. I've been knitting socks like crazy, y'all. I mean, I always knit socks like crazy, but they're pretty much all I've been working on. I've had so many questions and comments about the amount of socks I've already finished so far this year, but that's all I've been working on other than adding a little bit into my scrappy blankets each day and then like dishcloth knitting on the treadmill. Um, when I'm sitting, I'm typically knitting socks. I take them everywhere. It's all I work on. They go out to eat with us. They go in the car if I'm not driving. If I'm waiting somewhere, I'm knitting. Every second that I can knit, I knit. So that's my, my biggest tip. People are always like, how can I get more knitting done? Just knit every second that you can. <laughs> that is what I do. <laughs> All right, so those are why it's socks. First finished object. Second, we'll just go ahead and talk socks um, for the first two finished objects. So on January 18th, when I finished Wyatt's socks, I cast on these socks for my niece, Henley. She will be five in March. So I thought these were pretty fitting for a five-year-old little girl. They're so cute, so bright and fun. So for these, I did my vanilla socks. Um, I did these magic loop and I just did a size small. I do that stitch count. I've been, did that for my boys when they were about that age. Lily, my other niece, when she was about that age. So I feel like they should work pretty well for Henley. The heels, toes, and cuffs is done in Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Pucker. And it is as crazy bright as it looks. My nails are a mess. I apologize. <laughs> um, but the main skein, I'm not sure what it is. I know it was sent to me, but I cannot. There was no tag. It was a partial skein. Yeah, so it got stuck in, in with all the yarn. And then I have no clue what it is. But it is very pretty. And I had plenty and then enough left to do um, a square in my blanket. Put some in with my fingering weight jelly roll, all those things. So yeah, these turned out really nice. I'm gonna get those off in the mail to her probably next week. My only other finished objects are dishcloths and one pot holder. I've still been doing dishcloths on the treadmill. Aside from this morning, I think I'm gonna switch to socks on the treadmill for a bit because the dishcloth knitting, I think has been hurting my hands. Um, it has in the past before, it's just the size needle, I think. I get hand pain if I'm knitting with a larger size needle more than a smaller size needle. And it's also rare that I ever get hand pain, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but in the winter is when I typically have a problem with achy, achiness in my hands. And 
when I'm doing something on a larger needle. So I think I'm gonna take a break for just a bit um, on the dishcloths, but I did finish four more dishcloths. And one of them, they're all the Queensland cotton. Not sure what they are because the tags are long gone, but this one I had used up all the skein and didn't have enough to finish. So I just grabbed some gray and finished it off with that. So these are just going in the gift pile for, I don't know who, but whoever I give some dishcloths to. <laughs> so for those, I do a US 8 five millimeter. I do the no holes version of the garter stitch diagonal dishcloth by Make Your Own Zone. I also finished one pot holder for my kitchen and I have not put it up there yet, so I can show it to you. This is the Bev's Turn On Itself pot holder. It is a crocheted pattern and I'm just using sugar and cream for these. And that's, that's another one done. I do have one that I started. These are what I've been working on when I'm editing videos. So I have one I started. So kind of into works in progress here, I guess. <laughs> and it just lives here on my desk. And when I sit down to edit a video or if I finish, you know, stuff on the computer and I want to just stay here for a few minutes, I pick up a pot holder and do just a couple of rounds on it. Not a big deal. The um, hook that I'm using is a Tulip Atimo. These are my favorite crochet hooks. And the size is a four millimeter. And I do chain five. The <laughs> chain. No, <laughs> I chain 35. <laughs> I knew I should have got coffee. <laughs> I chain 35 for my pot holders, which is different from the 30 that's listed in the pattern. Ooh, I knew I should have got more coffee. Okay, works in progress. We've kind of already started to go into that, but um, I have two sock projects that I brought down and my DK jelly roll blanket. So I will go ahead and show the blanket first. This is in a bag from Bags by Awesome Granny. And this is getting so close to being done. Once I finish the strip that I'm on, before I start the next strip, I'm going to like lay down under it and see if I feel that it's wide enough. I think I'm going to need to do, not really need to, but want to do one more strip after the one I'm on, but we'll see. I'm, I'm gonna lay it out, lay down under it, see what I think. So I, I haven't shown this in a bit, but I am caught up adding in. So this one I'm adding in my Homespun House Patreon minis and my Row One minis. And Row One is a yarn subscription service if you have not heard of that. I do, oh my goodness. I have a coupon code that you guys can use for row one now. I've been getting this for so many years and I have a coupon code to share now. <laughs> um, so the the code is crazy sock lady and that'll get you 20% off your first month. Um, and that is, I guess an affiliate code would be the right word because I do receive a small percent of a commission from every purchase made using the code um, at no extra cost to you. So. Crazy Sock Lady, 20% off your first month of row one. Super exciting. I can't, I almost forgot to say that. Um, but anyways, I'm adding in my row one minis, my Homespun House Patreon minis. I am caught up. The last ones I just finished adding in were January. I did not add them in in December. So I had December and January to get added in. But now I'm caught up. And this blanket, the pattern, let me show it to you first. And then I'll tell you what the pattern is in all the details it it's pretty big i feel like i should have just taken a picture of it and i could have shown it <laughs> better gosh it's big and it's with it being dk weight it's pretty heavy oh i don't know if you're seeing the bottom of that if not once it's finished i will take a picture of it laid out on the floor but okay this pattern is the jelly roll blanket by k jones and i have a fingering weight when going but this one i'm holding fingering weight double so it's like a dk weight gauge and it's so so squishy <laughs> so squishy and amazing um i have notes on my ravelry project page for any modifications that i've made the needle size that i'm using since it's 
a larger gauge than what the pattern is written for, how many I have, um, how many stitches on each strip, <laughs> goodness, um, how I join my strips because I do that differently. Um, yeah, everything is listed there. Where's the strip that I'm currently working on? That's the one right there. It's the last mini I added in. It's such a fun project. I'm going to be sad when it's done and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my row one minis when I'm done with this. I have no idea. I may do an I-cord border with them around here so I may still be working on this for a while after the strips are done because I'm thinking I would kind of like to do an I-cord border around it to finish it we will see. The needles that I'm using are Signature Needle Arts, which I saw this morning. They are like, they discounted things again. I cannot remember what the percentage was. But they are going out of business, so you may look out and find find some needles. Um, 3.75 millimeter is what I am using. Up there straight, the smallest size, which I think is, I think seven inches, maybe. But I'm sad that they're closing. If I ever lose my signature needles, my straights for these blankets, I would probably cry because <laughs> you cannot get them anymore. All right, so that's my row one. I will not show this again until I add in my next month's round of minis. So it'll get put away for a while until they arrive, which won't be that long, I guess, because we are somehow almost to the end of January. All right, socks. I have a couple sock work in progresses to show you. This one is in a bag from Mountain State Stitches. Love this bag. And I am doing some more socks for Wyatt because he, he wanted more after I finished his last pair. And he wore all three pairs that I've made him since he's like come back around to wanting hand knits. He wore all three pairs, three days in a row, and then his laundry day wasn't for a couple of days. So I'm like, oh, he needs more to make it from laundry day to laundry day. So I pulled out this yarn. I had caked this up for summer sock camp, but never got around to knitting it. And these were supposed to be for Eric. With this yarn, he'll never know. This was three by the sea designs. And the fireside sock set. And it is a, let me show you the yarn first. It's so a full skein and then two 20 gram minis. Look how pretty that is. I do not have a ton done on these because I've been trying to finish off my freckled whimsy socks. But here's what I've got so far. Look at my progress keeper. I have a couple of sets from Twin Mountain Handcrafts that I just recently purchased. I love this one with a coffee mug. But yeah, I did the green for the cuff and I think I'm gonna do the green for the toe and then the heel in the brown is what I'm thinking. But I love how that's working up. So pretty. So again, I've just done vanilla socks, nine inch circulars. Um, knit two pearl two, 20 rounds for the cuff. Oh, I forgot to put needles back in here. My other sock work in progress is my freckled whimsy socks. This is in my favorite Christmas bag from Three by the Sea Designs. I love this bag. I have one done. So this is the freckled whimsy Christmassy yarn club, the January, so this month, it's colorway. It's cozy Christmas cuddles. Here's the tag. And Here's the one that's finished. <laughs> it's so good, y'all. This gives me like 70s Afghan vibes in the best way possible. I now want an Afghan in these colors in a chevron pattern. I cannot handle it. I am almost done with the second sock too. It should be done today. Maybe, hopefully. If it's not, it's fine, but I, I'm ready to cast on a new sock, so <laughs> I'm trying to finish these up. Here is 
the front of it. This is my heel toe do -si do pattern. I'm doing it on magic loop. This is my favorite pattern for self striping. It is just so beautiful. I did knit two purl two ribbing for the cuff. 20 rounds, 60 rounds for the leg. I have a little reindeer, a little Rudolph. Let me see if I can get it to show here. That is from the Littlest Charm Co. I'm just gonna go all Christmassy with these every month. Christmas bag, Christmas charms, a little bit of Christmas throughout the whole year. It'll be great. <laughs> and these are definitely for me. I am keeping all of these. I think it'll be so fun if I continue getting this club all year to in December have all these different socks, all in heel toe do -si do ready to wear in December. I don't think there's anything else about those. So we're kind of into mail already. Oh, I forgot to put free to put all kinds of things back in the bags today. All right, mail, I have quite a bit. <laughs> um, so I'll explain, we'll just go down through the pile and I'll explain the quite a bit of yarn that I have when we get to it. So first, this did not come in the mail, but we were out on Saturday. We went um, to, I think it's called Centerville Antiques. I can't remember, but it's an antique shop. We love to go there. It's in Centerville, Ohio, but it's, it's not just antiques. It's got all kinds of things, like so many different things, just booths, the whole, it's huge. It's amazing. Um, and I find the most random things there. And y'all, look at these. I found sock blockers. <laughs> I don't know. My friend Jenny said, how do you find these things? I said, I don't know. It's like they're there. They're just waiting on me because <laughs> I find knitting stuff. I, I don't know. I find these little like knitting, these little women knitting. I shared them on my um, Instagram stories. I've never shared them on here. But anyways, I, I find stuff that's just awesome. So these, it didn't say like where they were from. There's no... Um, like shop information. I have no idea. They're definitely not antiqued. Um, my husband said the wood might be a little older, but I, I have no clue. None whatsoever where they came from. No idea, but they're beautiful. And you can see I have some other wooden ones back there that were, those were both gifts um, years ago. So Eric put some nails in the, in the wall so I can hang these up there too. And I love them so much. I think when I finish my freckled whimsy, I'm gonna try them on here because they look like they are perfect for my size um, socks. For when I take the picture, I think they're gonna go in here. So that was a super exciting find. And then mail stuff. So I did, Darlene of Bags by Awesome Granny sent me a Valentine's Day project bag. Look how cute these guys are. I love it. I have no idea what I'm going to put in here, but it's so, so pretty. I might just put some scraps in here to pull from for like scrappy socks. I'm not sure, but I love it so much. So head over and check out Darlene's shop. Okay, now we have the yarn. So this started, this is a Knit Picks order. And I'm trying so hard to do more out than in when it comes to the stash this year. Still still allowing myself to get yarn, um, but more out than is coming in. That is not going to happen this month because I have a huge box of yarn. So Wyatt asked, this would have been the weekend before last. He asked me if I could knit him a cable sweater. Y'all. And of course I said yes. And it was so funny because I think the week before I had said, I'm not a garment knitter. Like I had come to that realization that I'm not a garment knitter. I don't enjoy knitting them. I, like it's rare that I enjoy it. And the only exception I was going to make was Lily's sweater because I feel like I can't stop making her sweater every year because I've done it every year. So until she says she doesn't want one anymore, I will continue to do that. <laughs> um, but I was, other than that, I was not gonna knit any garments because I don't enjoy it. 
And then Wyatt asked me that, and how do you tell him no? You don't. When it comes to asking me to knit him something, I cannot say no, even if it's a cabled sweater. <laughs> Here's the picture of the one that he picked. I put him on Ravelry and said, you know, kind of pick what you want. He picked a couple of different ones. And then this is the one that we have settled on. Um, I'll put the information up here on the screen and the picture. And then it was time to pick the yarn. So we decided on, I had, first I went to my stash and I had some, Snip Picks Wool of the Andes. I can't remember what the color is. I had enough of that in my sash that I could have made him a sweater, probably a full sweater. Maybe I would have had to order a little bit more. Um, but he, he didn't really like the color. He didn't really like the yarn. It was a little too scratchy for him. So we, I had some swish in my stash. That is what I always knit, usually always knit Lily sweaters out of. He felt that and he liked that. So we went to the Knit Picks website and we ordered enough yarn for his sweater. I have not started it yet. Saturday, I'm planning to do some measurements on him and then start it either Saturday or Monday. We'll see, but Swish Worsted in the Pinecone Heather. So these are 50 gram skeins. So I have quite a few of those. <laughs> and then let me pull all of these. Are those the same thing? If they are, why do I have two of them? Oh no, they're different. Okay. Let me pull these out of here. There's so many of them. So many of them. Okay. All right. These other ones are things for Eric. So he has asked me to make him a Doctor Who scarf. He mentioned that he would like one. I said that that would be so easy. I could totally do that. And he said he didn't think he wanted like all the exact colors that were in the scarf. He doesn't want it quite as long. So we went on Knit Picks website and I had him pick some yarn. We went with sport weight because he didn't want something fingering weight, but he didn't want something too thick. So we decided on sport weight. Here are all the colors and I'll tell you the yarn info. Those two right there look very similar but they are not I'll have to make sure they're not beside each other but yes these are all the colors that he chose this is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Sport Weight we have Bramble Heather Cobblestone Heather those are the two that look very similar Turmeric Coal, Forest Heather, Dove Heather, and Red. So those are what he's decided on for his scarf. That, I'm going to start why it's card, or not cardigan, sweater first. And I've already informed him this will be something he will get for next winter, next cold season. It will not be done this cold season. <laughs> I'm not going to push myself to finish that. Um, so none of these are some, anything that will be started ASAP, but I want all of these to be done by Christmas of this year at the latest. So these are all for Christmas gifts is what I'm kind of thinking. Also, I ordered some Knit Pick Stroll fingering because years ago, I will put a picture of the socks up here. I made Eric a pair of TARDIS socks. He's a Doctor Who obsessed. <laughs> um, and he commented, this has probably been like three months ago, that he loves those socks so much that he doesn't wear them because he would be sad if something happened to them, if they got a hole or, you know, whatever. So that he doesn't always... He wants to wear them, but he doesn't always reach for them because he's afraid something will happen to them. So I kind of thought, well, that's silliness because I can just make you another pair. <laughs> so I ordered the yarn to do that and those will be a Christmas gift as well. So this is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering. These are the exact colors I used for the last pair. This is Sapphire Heather. I think just white and black. Yep, white and black. 
So I will put a picture up here. I can't remember the name. I think it's Police Box Socks, but I'll have, I'll link the project page below from where I made them. So that is all the mail. So definitely more in than out this month. And I have been keeping track of that and I will share it at the beginning of February. I know not everyone's interested in that, but I kind of find it interesting to track it when I'm in the mood to. Sometimes I'm not, but right now I am. So I will share it. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it for the knitting. I think that that's all of it. So I did write down some reading and watching. Reading, I am still reading through Freedom McFadden's books. I actually joined Kindle Unlimited because I kept buying the books. I would finish one and then buy another one. They were only $3.99, but everyone was listed as Kindle Unlimited. And I thought, this is silly. <laughs> How much is Kindle Unlimited? So I went and there was like this deal where you could get it for $5 for two months, or it's $5 a month for two months, for something five, something around there. And then it's, I think, $11.99 a month. So I thought that's that's perfect. I'm going to do that. Um, so I finished Do You Remember and The Surrogate Mother. All of these are by her. And then I am currently reading Suicide Med. And I'm enjoying all of them. I just keep flying through them. I'm reading them on the treadmill. I'm reading them before bed. Loving it. So that's all my reading. Watching, we did finish watching, finished finished. <laughs> I wrote down what I'd finished and I'm reading it. I need more coffee. Uh, we finished watching Alone Australia. I talked about that last week. So we finished that season and then we started Alone season one because um, Alone Australia was I think the most recent one that's been out. I could be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure it said 2023 and I have no idea what season one of the regular alone when that was filmed no clue but we started that I think we'll probably just end up watching through all of them unless we get tired of it we're enjoying it right now anyways uh, I think that's kind of it life stuff we we went antiquing over the weekend it was very nice we had such a relaxing weekend um did a little antiquing went out to dinner church out to lunch it was just a very, very relaxing weekend. We did have snow last week. I talked about that last week and we got snow. We didn't get like some crazy amount, a couple of inches probably, um, but it was perfect. It was so beautiful. The boys had a snow day on Friday. I loved it very much. So that made me very, very happy. <laughs> But, all right, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. I hope that y'all are doing well. Hope you're getting lots of making done. And I will see you guys again next week for a regular episode. Until then, happy making. <laughs>